In this video, I've got an update for you on my affiliate marketing website, wheelalong.co.uk. Now I know I didn't do an update last month, so I'm gonna do two months updates in this video. The site has just turned one year old, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how it's been doing and you know whether things are moving in the right direction. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all doing well. So yeah, wheel along. Do you remember the site? It's my wheelbarrow slash trolley slash anything with wheels kind of website um, that's focused on the UK market. As I said in the intro, the site has just turned one year old. And to be honest, I've not done as much work on it as I probably should have done. You know, best roof box, I put a lot of effort and time into it. This site has been a little bit neglected, but that is all gonna change. I've decided I'm gonna focus on it a bit more, add loads more content, and also do a little bit of link building. And we'll be coming to that later in this video. But let's look at some numbers. Before we go much further, let's have a look where we're at right now. Now, as I said, I didn't do an update um, for the May figures. So let's take a look at them now. I'm gonna put the analytics up on the screen. And we can see that in May, we had 1,042 visitors. The kind of traffic that we do want is organic traffic. And if we look at that, we can see that in May we had 594 organic visitors, which is down 13%. Uh, it's basically still in decline since the kind of powered wheelbarrow Stan Ventures campaign stopped working. You remember, I asked Stan Ventures, the SEO company, to build some links which they did and they got my powered wheelbarrow uh, article on the first page of Google and we actually sold a couple of powered wheelbarrows. But then something happened and it slipped off the first page and yeah, since then organic traffic has been in decline. If we look at the money from Amazon, let's put that up now, we can see that we earned an incredible 10 pounds 34 pence in May, which uh, at uh, the current currency conversion rate we put that into dollars, it's around $14. Let's take a look at AdSense. So AdSense came in at £5.55, which is around $8. So um, yeah, let's add those two together and we get a grand total of $22 in May. Woohoo! So that's May, let's take a look at June. I'll put the analytics up now. And yeah, we can see that basically it's a bit flat. We had 1,012 users in June and that's up three and a half percent basically because of the way the comparison works. June is a shorter month uh, than May, so it's not taken into account the 1st of May, I think, on that comparison. But it's kind of negligible anyway. I think we'll just say that, you know, May and June are pretty similar. If we look at organic, we can see we have 568 uh, users from organic, which is still down on the previous period, it's down two and a half percent, just about. Um, which is less of a decline than it was before. You know, before it was down 13%. So I'm hoping that organic is starting to uh, turn itself around. And there is signs of this if we take a look at the Google Search Console. Let's take a look. We can see that the graph is slowly starting to improve somewhat. So, um, you know, I think we might be turning a corner on organic search, but you know, I don't wanna speak too soon and uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath just yet. Let's take a look at the earnings. Let's take a look at Amazon. And we can see that the earnings were better in June. Amazon pulled in 23 pounds, 49 pence, which is around $32. And let's have a look at AdSense. We can see that AdSense is actually down a little bit on May. In June, it pulled in 2 pounds, 64, which is around $4. So if we add the two together, we got a grand total in June of $36. So earnings are up a little bit uh, in June, which is good. Still very small numbers and, and nothing to get too excited about. Um, but let me take you through some of the work that I've been doing on the site. So I've been adding some more articles, uh, not as many as I maybe should have done. And a few of these articles have actually been written by Jarvis, which if you're a regular on the channel, you'll know Jarvis is my AI copywriting tool. Absolutely love Jarvis, creates some really good content and a really good way of upping your writing game if you wanna produce more content, uh, produce content more quickly, and you know get over problems like writer's block. J 
Jarvis is invaluable. Now uh, you find a link to Jarvis in the description and I'll pop one up now. It is an affiliate link and thank you very much if you use it. So we've got 65 articles in total now published on the site. I've been going back through, or when I say I, my fabulous VA, Sue, who's a new addition to the team, has been helping me with Wheel Along and she's been going back through some of the old articles, tidying them up a little bit, uh, doing a little bit of editing here and there where the text was maybe a little bit wonky, and also adding some fantastic new featured images. We're trying to get a bit of consistency, so we've been adding uh, words to the featured images and yeah, they look fantastic. The final thing I wanna talk about is link building. I think the site needs a bit of link juice. It needs a bit of a push just to get it moving up the uh, Google search results pages. So I've taken out a link bundle package thing from Niche Website Builders. I went for their entry level pack, um, which still comes in at $540 a month if you go for a subscription, which I did. I'm gonna run it for a few months at least. And for that, you get five quality links built to your website. Now it's still early days. I only ordered it a couple of weeks back and yeah, I haven't seen any links as yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they can produce. They promise at least two DR45 links. So yeah, if I run it for a few months, um, that should get us up to 15, maybe 20 high quality links coming in. And I think that's gonna have a serious effect on the website, hopefully a positive effect. That brings to the end of this update. I promise that I'll do another one next month. I'll try not to miss it this time and hopefully then we'll have some uh, updates on the link building process and I'll obviously share that with you. I'd love to know how your websites are getting on. Do leave me a comment below. Do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. To make sure you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. Click that subscribe button and make sure you click the bell. And if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, if it helped you out in any way, please click that like button. That really does help me out. But until next time, Bye for now.